Hey guys, here's my chainsaw steel MS290 farm boss. I got uh, I gotta take it apart and clean it. I didn't clean it after the last time I used it. It has the uh, new style uh, fuel cap along with the new style uh, oil cap. It takes some getting used to. But other than that, it's a good saw. It's got the 18 inch bar on it with an anti kickback chain on it. Which is rather good. Keeps it from kicking back. It's got the part that jams into the log right here for you. And I went out and I bought a file set that's just for this saw. Uh, it's got everything you need to sharpen your chain. It's got the little pick to pick out the the uh, the bar. It's got the file for the other teeth on the chain. Here, let me put you guys on a tripod, then I'll take it apart and show you guys how I, the way I clean it. Alright, the first thing I do to make sure the break is off. That's on. That's off. The chain moves freely. Then I take my, you know, tool that comes with it. Clean off that hole. Take the tension off the chain and then I loosen the two nuts up one here and one here <laughs> then I take the cover off chain off. Put that aside. Then what I do then what I do is I take my paintbrush get in there like that. Clean all that out. Just like that. Everything nice and clean. Now that I got that done. I take, I take the cover up, up like that. I take the toothbrush. And I get it all out like that with the toothbrush on the cover. Just like that. Alright guys, that's clean enough for now. Clean enough for me. Alright, and then I usually do what most people don't do. Take the cover off for the air cleaner. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See how it's like all dusty and stuff? Let's take my Paint brush and clean it off. Clean all the sawdust out of there. Best I can. And now this black thing right here. This comes out. 
and you can actually take it and you can flip around this way. There's a summer mode and a winter mode on here. I just leave it in the summer mode. It works fine. Cover back on. That's about it for that part. And now for the bar. I just take the chain off like so. Put it aside for now. And then I take this thing here that came in my file kit. I just go start at one end of the bar, come down the other, pull all the stuff out. Becky, you no. Know, flip it over. Do the same thing all over again. Usually, right here in the back is the worst. Every other time you clean it, you can flip it over. It means one time you put it with the letters facing up, and the other time you put it with the Letters facing down. It's supposed to help with the wear, I guess. I don't know, that's why I do it that way. Now I'm gonna put the handy dandy cover back on. too tight with them just yet. Make sure it's on the clutch. It is. Pull it up like that. Pull it up like that. Get these a little bit of a tweak in. Wanna make sure your chain stays in your bar. Sometimes you just gotta pull some up again and All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring that screw in that I loosened up as I pull up on it a little bit. a little too loose. Bring it in a little bit more. Alright guys, I got it tight. Just a little too tight. I forgot there's a little trick to it. That's about good right there. I don't know if you guys can see where I got it. That's how they got it or not. I just might loosen that up a little bit more.
Yeah, I think that's good right there. Perfect. I like it. Alright guys, it's even got a nice little case with it. That came with the saw. Normally what I do is I usually take my paintbrush, stuff it in there. My toothbrush, stuff it in there. And I'm still trying to figure out how I can put the files in there. But they don't want to fit. I've got the handy dandy instruction book that I keep with the saw. Some steel oil, HP Ultra two cycle engine oil. Yeah, you said back here. There you go, all in the case and everything. <laughs>